a key point. We made this point earlier in the week, but it's probably the number one, at least top five things I see goalies make mistakes on, from the NHL all the way down to mites and squirts. It's something called post interference versus post integration. So I'll show you what we're talking about. So if Anders goes down and he has, if he has his elbow in the post, like right here, arm in the post, right here, and say if he has a skate to the post, put your skate to the post. You, it's not wrong to do this, guys. There's plenty of goalies that have success with this technique. It might let you push out to the middle. You can see right here, this is called post interference. The skate's interfering with his ability, his elbow is interfering with his ability to create a seal on the post. Right? Again, not wrong, not right, but we want to talk about what's efficient, what works, what doesn't work, what's giving us success, what's giving us challenges. So one option to modify this post interference is to create post integration. Here's what we do. Shin to the post. Okay? Arm in front of the post. And now you can see, get down AJ, nice and low. See that aerial angle, there's absolutely nothing to shoot at here. Anders, you just drop your arms here, eyes up, lean through it, right there, and even bring the shoulder further to square. Because if the puck hits, we straighten the camera out. There you go. Good job, AJ. I'm trying. If the puck hits the shoulder, we do not want that puck going out to the slot right there. At, at the worst, we want to hit this puck out this way, or bring the shoulder through Anders, bring the shoulder through, and retain it. Boom, right up there. So simply, Post interference versus post integration, guys. We want to make sure that we're getting post integration as much as possible and avoiding post interference whenever possible. Thanks for checking out this video.